Hello, this is Shannon with Dogwood Crochet, and today I'm going to be showing you how to join granny squares. So this is the Sunflower Granny Square tote bag, and the full written pattern is available on my Etsy shop. But this video will just show you the step for how I joined these. So I'm working on a different set of colors for this video, but I'll be showing you how to join these squares here. I've already joined a few just to kind of get started, but you wanna start with your granny squares laying flat on a table. And then I'm going to get my yarn. And if in this case, we're going to be crossing this join already. So I'm going to weave my yarn underneath that join. That'll make it easier once we get to that point to be able to join, just keep joining continuously. So now I'm going to make a slip knot. And you can pull this yarn as long as you want. Now I'm going to start here at this corner. And there's a lot of different ways to join granny squares, but this is the way that I like to do it for my bags. I think it gives a really symmetrical look on either side of the join, and I think that it lays well once it's joined. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by placing our hook into the back loop only so whatever loop is furthest from you so both squares are laying flat on the table so here i'm going to find the corner of this square and i'm going to place my hook into just this back loop now i'm going to keep my working yarn in the middle i'm going to pick up this square and place my hook into the back loop of this square as well so the one that's furthest from me if they're both laying flat on the table. So I have my slip knot here on my hook and then I have the back loop of the first stitch for the first square and the back loop of the first stitch for the second square. Now I'm going to get my working yarn and I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to pull through all three of these loops. So now we're going to work into the next stitch, the back loop or the one that's furthest from you if it's laying flat on the table. Insert my hook into the first square, then I'm going to find that back loop of the second square and insert my hook into that. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. So just like that. Back loop, the one that's furthest from me. Yarn over, pull through all three. So I just continue this for the rest of the square. So I just continue joining the squares in this manner. And I really like this join because you can start to see how symmetrical it is. These are those front loops that we didn't work into and they're kind of framing the slip stick slip stitch join that we're doing. So 
So I always make sure that my working yarn is in the middle as I'm joining. So I'm going to continue working and when I get to this part here, I will come back. Okay, so I'm almost at this part and I have two stitches left. So I'm just gonna continue joining those. And then there's one more here. You wanna make sure you don't miss that or there might be a slight gap in your piece. And these corners can be a little bit tricky at times. So I'm just inserting my hook into that one and then into this last one. All right, so we just finished joining these first two squares. So now I'm going to, I have all this extra yarn here, I'm going to pull this so that it's now tight. So because we put our yarn under this join at the beginning, now we can easily work over this join as we join these two squares. So I'm just gonna continue working normally into this next part. And this, this stitch has technically already been joined, but I like to do it when I'm crossing just to help reduce any gaps that might appear there. Do one more and then I'll show you what that crisscross looks like. So now you can see we just joined over the other join and it looks really just kind of clean. So that's pretty much how to join any squares. I just continue working this along each edge of any of the squares that I want to join. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials. Thank you!